Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video, itutuloy natin yung ating series on uh, solving work problems. No? Pang-apat na video na ito and uh, uh, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung mga previous videos, I suggest na panoorin nyo yun before ito kasi uh, itong problem na ito medyo complicated na siya no? compared to the previous problem. Yung part 1 itong uh, series na ito, doon pinapaliwanag kung paano nakukuha yung equations. No? Kaya dapat panoorin nyo yun and of course, yung part 2 at part 3 para hindi kaya mabigla no? dito sa part na to. So, let's discuss. Jack can dig a ditch alone in 5 days while Jan alone can do it in 8 days. The two of them started working together but after 2 days, Jack left the job. So, how many more days do John need to work to finish the job alone? So, sabi natin pag... Uh, Si Jack, since uh, natatapos niya yung work in 5 days, ibig sabihin for 1 day, no, ang kanyang rate ay 1. O ang kanya natapos na ay 1 fifth of the job. This is in 1 day. no. This is in 1 day. So in 1 day, Jack uh, can finish the job or can finish 1 fifth of the job. No? Ito na natin lagay. And... Si John naman ay uh, uh, in one day, since 8 days siya matatapos, 1-8 naman ang job, no? Ang matatapos niya. And of course, in 2 days, no? 2 days, si Jack ang matatapos ng job ay 2 fifth, and si John naman ay 2 if no so of course in 5 days matatapos ni John or ni Jack yung kanyang work so in 5 days 5 days letters yung ginamit natin so 5 days magfa 5 over 5 na si John ibig sabihin tapos niya na yung work and of course in 8 days maging 8 over 8 na siya or equivalent to 1 no but sabi dito sa itaas ay nag-work na sila together for 2 days. So but after 2 days Jack left the job. So ibig sabihin natapos nila yung 2 days which means yung natapos na nila the job ay 2 fifth plus 2 eight. Ito na yung tapos na. Tapos na nila yan, di ba? Tapos umalis bigla si Jack. Now Ang alamin natin is kung ilang araw pa bang magtatrabaho si si John alone, no? And from here, alam natin na 1.8 yung kanyang rate per day, no? So, plus 1.8 times the number of days, no? Yung x natin. So, if we let, let x be the number of days uh, that John will work to complete the job, then uh, 1.8 times x na yan, or Simply, 1.8x. Pwede na natin i-simplify yan, 1.8x. And of course, pag, pag pinlas natin lahat yan, matatapos yung job. So, magiging 1. Remember, pag ang, ang tapos na job ay nire-represent natin ng 1. Kasi, for example, si Jack, after 5 days, magiging 5 over 5 na siya. Ibig sabihin, tapos siya na yung buong trabaho. At si John, after 8 days, magiging 8 over 8. So, 5 over 5 and 8 over 8 equals siya sa 1. So, pwede natin i-represent ng finished, finished job yung 1. No? Uh, I think this is not a problem kung napanood yung previous video kasi diniscuss na natin yan doon. Okay, so meron tayong mga fractions and the whole number. At uh, ang kailangan natin ngayon is tanggalin yung mga fractions. No? O, so, para natin matanggal, kunin natin yung least common denominator ng mga to. Tapos, we multiply everything by the least common denominator. And I guess, tinuruan ko na kayo gumawa niya, no? So, uh, para re konting review, para makuha natin yung least common denominator, kunin natin yung least common multiple ng 5 tsaka 8, no? Huwag kayo malito, no? Ang least common denominator, yun yung sa fraction. Pero pag sabi natin yung least common multiple, yun yung mga numbers sa baba, yun sa denominator lang. So, kunin natin yung least common multiple ng 5 tsaka 8. So, ang multiples mo ng 5 ay 5, 10, 15, 20, 
25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and so on. No? Yan yung mga multiples. Ang multiples naman ng 8 ay 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So, ang unang-unang, o oh, ang pinakamaliit na multiple, no? pinakamaliit na multiple natin is 1 and this 1. Na common sa kanilang dalawa, yun ang tinatawag natin na least common multiple or LCM. No? So, ang LCM niya ay 40, which means that the least common denominators of the fractions, or the least common denominator of the fractions is 40. So, para matanggal itong mga fractions na to, we multiply everything by 40. So, maging 40 times 2 fifth plus 40 times 2 eighths plus 40 times 1 eighth x equals 40 times 1. So, 40 times 2 fifths so, magiging, pwede ito makancel, di ba? Pwede ito makancel. Magiging 8, no? Magiging 8 yung sa taas. Because uh, 40 at 5 are both divisible by 5. So, pwede natin makancel. Magiging 8 times 2. Magiging 16 plus 40 divided by 8. 5 naman dito. Makancel din yung uh, 40 at 8. So, 5 times 2 is 10 equals, again, 40 tsaka 8, 40 divided by 8 is 5. So, makakancel, magiging 5 siya. 5 times 1 is 5 times x is 5x. Oh, this is not yet, this is not yet equal. This is plus 5x equals 40 times 1 is 40. No? So, we have 26 plus 5x equals 40. And simplifying, we have hmm, mag minus tayo ng 26 from both sides. Mawawala itong 26 na to magiging 5x na lang. Yung sa left hand side. And then equals, uh, 40 minus 26 ay 14. No? So I hope I'm right. No? And of course, we have x equals divide both sides by 5. Magiging 14 over 5. 14 over 5 days pa siya magtatrabaho. Or, pwede natin simplify yan. 14 over 5 means 14 divided by 5. We have 2. 2 times 5 is 10. We have 4. So, this is uh, this is just converting the improper to mixed fraction. So, ito yung ating, uh, ito yung ating whole number. no? This is the whole number. This is the den the numerator and this is the denominator. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 2. X is equal to 2 and 4 fifth days. So, wala pala siyang tatlong araw, no? So, it makes sense dahil kung limang araw si John, or si Jack, sorry. Pag limang araw si Jack, syempre kung tutulungan naman siya ni, ni John, Kung tinulungan siya, siyempre, mas iiksi naman yung trabaho niya, di ba? Uh, kasi tinulungan naman siya for two days. At may nagawa na rin naman siya trabaho for two days. So, definitely, mas iiksi sa five days yung kanyang um, trabaho. So, the answer is two and four fifth days. Or kung gusto nyo niyang itra... Oh, hindi na pala natin pwede i-convert kasi yung two days dito, hindi natin alam kung... Siyempre, hindi naman siya nagtatrabaho ng 24 hours a day, no? So, it could be 8 hours a day or 7 hours or 6 hours. So, we don't know. So, siguro 2 and uh, 4 fifth days na lang yung pinaka-final answer natin. Okay. So, maraming salamat. Um, invite ko kayo sa sitnayan.com. Ito yung ating website. And of course, uh, sa ating YouTube channel, pwede kayo mag-subscribe by uh, clicking the subscribe button below the video. So, para pag nag-post ako ng bagong video, may inform kayo sa inyong email. Maraming salamat, uh, share this video to your friends, and see you in the next tutorial.